Hi, in this video I want to talk about the importing and adding uh, multiple users to the Eonexer platform at once by the lead administrator. When you're accessing as an administrator the users panel, you have ability to add of course individual users but also multiple users at the same time using the option import users. Within that, there is a process, process of creating, a, based on the template, creating an Excel file or a Google Sheet file, CSV, comma separated values file that could be imported in here using the accepted format and accepted licenses that are available within the platform, within your institution, which you can also double check. So what's the process? Download the template first, which is a CSV file, which you can download to any location open using your preferably spreadsheet editing software either is a google or i'm using microsoft excel in this case but google could be as well i'm going to just make sure that the the rows are clearly visible fill in that spreadsheet with the necessary information related to your users so i'm going to be just using some of the dummy data so some of the users it could be multiple users as many as you think but what is important, in the columns D to M, so D, E, F up to D, M, there are some of the data that you have to fill according to the templates. So let me just show it. Role. To fill the role, you have to use one of the available and accepted roles. So currently in the institution that I'm in, those are the available role that, that I can copy that role name and I can use that role name or I can use a different roles in a different different elements different uh, for the different user. So one could be a student, student, student. Then, for instance, I would like somebody to have a role of the teacher. So I can put that. And then maybe I would like to have somebody a role of a student's creator. I can add those by using this. Okay. Now, the second uh, column I want to talk about, the column E, is about the group. About the creation and managing of the groups, I have a separate video, but currently there is ability that you can just use the name of the group. So if the group exists, it will be added. If the name of the group you're going to use in your template do not exist, then it will be created. So if I would like to create a new group, I can call it saying, for instance, a test group. And that name will be utilized for those people who are added. And I can, of course, use the multiple uh, people for multiple groups. Expiration, expiration date. So the same thing when adding individual users, you can set up the expiry date. Here you can do that as well. Very important only is that to use the correct format of the date. So if I will use, today is the uh, September so if I will use, for instance, the 30th of October, October, I don't know, 30, 2023, that I mean, there is a possibility, of course, that that could be recognized as a date or not, but not always. The format that should be used is the format of a four digit for a year, two digit for a month, and two digit for a day. And in that case, at least in my case, Excel automatically changed it to the other format, which is not the one which I wanted. So there is an important thing that we have to edit those data. I'm using a shortcut control one to format a cell and set up the format of the date into the four digit for a year, two digit for a month, two digit for a day and separated by the dash signs. And in this case, this is the only supported format for expiration date in this template. Now, the column from G to L, G H I uh, J K L, are responsible for a different products. So as you know, there are, there are multiple products in Eon XR and we can assign those licenses individually to that. And by using uh, three types of the characters, and which is also explained in here, by using a one, we are assigning the license. By using zero, we leaving as, as it is or blank. Or to remove the license, we use minus one. And the EONXR license is a minimum required. So in this case, the recommendation is that, of course, all of the users will have the licenses for the EONXR. And then if I want some of the user have a merged XR, some of the user special, 
it's fine. Metaverse Builder is requested required licenses if you want to use the AI Assistant or Eon Interact. And if you want to, you can leave, for instance, some of them zero. Personally, I do believe if there are licenses available, there is no risk of assigning all of the licenses to the users. So they can decide what they want to use. And if necessary, we can always remove and reallocate the license, even remove the user. Now, the, platform, the, the column M allows us to set up the password if you want to do it manually. In this case, I'm going to leave it fully blank for the users and just leave it like that. So the, the CSV file is filled. I'm just going to save the file as it is. I can even close this. And now I can import or drag it from my desktop, the file that I downloaded before, which is filled with the data, import it to the platform, pressing a next button, and the, the users will be imported. If there is any, and that's actually a good situation, in which I have a one failure situation, so I have a nine successes and one failure, there is a possibility also to download unimported users to be able to see invalid entries, which is that. And the invalid entry might be related to the fact even that, for instance, that some of the data is wrongly presented or that the, the data is not in the correct format or, or, as in my case, most likely is because I no longer have a necessary amount of the licenses available because when you were going to watch the video about the product licenses and reporting, you see that I already used my licenses. That means there was no possibility to add the user because the licenses amount of the license is no longer available so that that is also the possibility in here but practically speaking if i wanted to add multiple users it will add i will see if their accounts are activated or not activated i can browse through whole list of the users and in the next video i will demonstrate how we can edit the multiple users at once i hope you found this video useful thank you very much for watching